tucked away in Brighton's new Speedway Marketplace on Western Ave is the Koji Club. It's exactly how I wanted it to be. A small, intimate bar with seating for 16 and an outdoor patio, dedicated to one drink and one drink only, sake. I think that sake is an amazing beverage and sort of has a bad rap. You know, my introduction to sake was definitely doing sake bombs with my girlfriends. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so owner Alyssa Makiko Di Pasquale says she wants to change all those misconceptions about sake, the way it was changed for her. Six years working at Oya restaurant in Boston, she was able to taste her way through the sake menu. I didn't drop it into a cold beer and whatever. and. It was delicious. It was served to me in a wine glass and it had all these gorgeous fruit notes and this really light acidity to it. And I said, oh my gosh, I had no idea. And that's where the study began. Eventually taking courses to become an advanced sake professional, even traveling to Japan to visit sake breweries, bringing Alyssa in touch with her own heritage as a third generation Japanese American. It was really with the learning of Japanese food and Japanese sake and understanding more about Japanese culture that it made me sort of really understand a how cool it is to be Japanese, which is not something that I felt when I was growing up in the suburbs of Massachusetts. Cheers. I mean, it is the morning, so I don't want to drink too much. <laughs> I've always said that sake is a great brunch beverage. Now sharing her passion for sake. It is delicious though. I really, Isn't that really good? smell and taste those strawberry notes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And educating people like me who didn't know much about it. Sake is made from only four ingredients. We have rice, water, yeast, and koji. Each one of those ingredients impacting the flavor, aroma, dryness, and feel of the drink. It almost tastes like a, like a Gouda cheese, like a smoked yeah. Gouda. I'm so happy you said that because we have an aged Gouda on our cheese plate right now. We have a cheese plate for one on the menu and together they just sing. Look at that. I already know my sake. You do, you know that. <laughs> Very good. While the bar itself just opened up, the Koji Club started virtually during the pandemic two years ago. Alyssa sold sake sets and members tasted virtually online. So I asked her if she was nervous to be the first to open up a bar yeah. dedicated only to sake. And she says Boston is ready. I think so. And the education of it all yes. is, it makes it really fun. She really is a true professional at this. She teaches people the ways of drinking it. it the sake was everything from strawberry to smoky. Mm. It really is not what most of us think of sake. And and you think the morning is a little too early to start drinking the well, sake? Because I'm interested. <laughs> Depends on how late what, in morning. the morning. All right. <laughs> a beloved